Hey, Laura, if you can, head back. Uchu has something he wants to ask you. I think it's a favor. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. Unarachi must be worried about Etsli. I have to tell her he's been captured. Oh, I've never seen Uchu so angry. Uchu? Really? What happened? Mm, I shouldn't gossip, but he and Kabil were arguing. They kept their voices down, but you could see the anger rising off of each of them. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Very good. The gods favor us both. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. Very good. I await your return. Unarachi must be worried about Etsli. I have to tell her he's been captured.
Unaratu must be worried about Etsley. I have to tell her he's been captured. It is busy today. Kukul Khan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own. Offerings. Unaratu must be worried about Etsley. I have to tell her he's been captured. Unaratu! Hetzley's been captured. I know. They're holding him at the barracks. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him, I'm sorry. He's a warrior. What's that? Oh. This is a key. It looks like... Looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. Is the box? 
box with each shell connected to the barracks. Is that why the cult occupy the temple? It's heavily guarded. When we go in, it has to be subtle, silent. Is there a back way? Th there was one by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. I might be able to manage it. Perhaps. You did survive the sacrificial pit. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. If I can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Epsley, then go find the box. I'll take care of my son. You go after the box. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Etzli's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Etzli's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father unto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future King. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the King's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. What are we doing here? Oh, 
Father, Father, come quick! It's the Ishiki! What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the King's... The King's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go! The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. Thieving <laughs> bastard. I told you to shut up. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. <laughs> the thieves should be punished. Are missed? Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Chimali the guard saw. Chimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. is all my fault. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali, you coward! 
You'll end your life as a slave. Come taste my plate. <laughs> yeah, and taste llama patties too. Please, they were just herbs. I beg you. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go, your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. What's missing in this city? Love. It used to drift on the air, like the scent of hibiscus. That scent went away when Unuratu's husband, Sairi, died. Theirs was an infectious love. Everywhere they went, they were locked in hand. They would shop the markets together on sunny days like today, and I could swear the stalls would brighten just a bit as they passed. I had never seen two people more in love. I hope that once all of this fighting is over, that the scent of hibiscus will return. What were you doing with your friends near the building? Oh, I will see you. I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her, or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The king's horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quentin that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. 
Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. This describes something nearby. The waters below protect me from the waters above. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. the entrance. The threat of <sighs> something's wrong. This shows a pilgrimage from a great city. This must be Manco, leading the priestess's ancestors.
No one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. This could be an effigy of the peasant saviour. It might have been stolen by the cult of Kukul Khan to keep the Paititians from worshipping it. Or maybe it was given... The remains of the peasants... Manko's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manko from the cult of Kukul Khan. This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place. The order turned it into a crypt. This lever should raise the water level.
This lever should raise the water line. The Order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones, they sacrificed themselves to protect this place. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway, I bet. Ah, Lara. Quenty returned a short while ago. A little worse for wear, but alive. I'm glad to see you're okay as well. That system is quite a challenge. I'm happy Quenty made it back. <sighs> but without the Savior's amulet, I'm afraid. You mean this Savior's amulet? 
What? Laura, you found it. That's incredible. Here. I can't thank you enough. When Zan returns with the Champion's Bow, we will honor all of the gatherers. Including you, if you join us. I'll be there. What are we doing here? Mama says it upsets the waterfall's waka if I play in the cave. She just thinks it's too dangerous, even though there's all kinds of neat stuff in there. Ugh. <sighs> 
Jonah, I think I'm close to the mine entrance. Uchu says it's at the edge of the mountain. He sent a rebel ahead to open it. Thanks. Here it is. <laughs> 